Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm starting a new series on my YouTube channel, which is about mobile application development. So we're going to be using Ionic Framework. So basically you will write one code, build a mobile app for Windows and iOS. Android. So one code base can be used to build a mobile application for iOS, Android and also the Windows platform. So this is a website of the framework, ionicframework.com. So this is what I'm going to use. So yeah, let's get started. And I'm using a Mac OS, even if you're on the Windows or Linux, uh, that doesn't really matter. This is a cross platform uh, framework, use Node.js and uh, yeah. So first thing we want to do is we are going to open a terminal. So if you're on a Windows, please open command prompt. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger and a bit bigger. So first thing, we need to have two things installed. First of all, we want to make sure we have installed Node.js. Let me take you to the browser. And this is the website for Node.js. So that's Node.js.org. Now, it doesn't really matter which version of Node you guys use, either using 8.12.0 or 10.11 that should not make any difference but i will use a long term supported version so lts stands for long term supported so i'm going to be using 8.12.0 so basically you want to install node.js by simply click on that it will start downloading the in installer file on mac it's .pkg file on windows that's going to be exe file so just download the version of node and let's go back to Terminal. I'm going to check node-v. It'll tell me what version of node I'm using. So as you can see, I'm using 8.12.0. Let me check the NPN version. NPN is 6.4.1. So we have successfully installed two things, Node.js and also NPN. NPN stands for Node Package Manager, which is a package manager used for Node to install a bunch of packages that you want to use in your application. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to make sure we install Ionic CLI. So Ionic command line interface, it's really helpful to build mobile apps with Ionic by just typing some commands on your terminal and it will do a lot of things for you. So I'm going to go to developer and I'm going to go to framework docs and here we want to go to ionic 4 so ionic 4 is in beta right now but i'm still using ionic 4 because that's the future installation tab and i'm going to click on cli installation and here it's telling me install npn install dash g ionic so basically npn is a node package manager install is a command dash g is a flag which tells node package manager that please install this globally in your PC or in your Mac. Next, you want to go and start your application. So if you want to use the Ionic 4 application, you have to type this flag, dash dash type is equal to Angular. So there is a lot of things that has been changed from Ionic 3 to Ionic 4. Next, we have a command to run application. Once you type this command in, uh, in CLI, it will create an Angular project using Angular uh, 6 and Ionic 4. And you can run this same, uh, and you can run the application by using this command ionic serve. Next, I want you to install one more thing called Apache Cordova. So the command to install this is simply as npn install dash g Cordova. And if you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to type sudo. So let's go back to the terminal and here I'll type sudo npn install dash g Cordova. And I'm gonna have to type password to install that in my Mac. The reason for that is because I'm installing this globally. That is why it required the password. So as you can see, Cordova is installed as well. So now we want to check the version of Ionic CLI and Cordova. So I'll type Ionic dash V. It'll tell me, okay, I've got 4.1.2 CLI installed and I'm going to check for Cordova. 
let's say Cordova dash V and that gives me the version of Cordova I have installed which is 8.1.1 so at this point we have successfully installed everything we need to start building our hybrid mobile app now how do we start a new project so being in a terminal I'm gonna go to a folder which I will be using to create a new project. So I'll do CD document and I'll say, let me just see, that's gonna be hybrid mobile apps. And here I've got one project. So I'm gonna create another one. So I'll simply type Ionic start. And now if I want to check what kind of project or what kind of template I want to use, then I will to check how many projects are available. So I'll type space dash dash list and that gives me all the templates available which I can use. So I have an angular blank template, angular side menu, angular tabs menu, ionic angular, ionic angular which used the older version of ionic which was 3. So we want to use ionic 4. So I'll type ionic start and I'll say I want to use a tabs template and I'll flag it with type is equal to angular so i'll press enter and it's going to start asking me what kind of uh, template so i'll just say tabs and then i'm going to say okay it's asking me that integrate your new app with cordova to target native ios and android so first we remember that we installed Cordova successfully. Now I want to type Y and press enter and it's going to integrate Cordova with my project so I can build those app for iOS and Android. So iOS basically don't understand JavaScript or let's say Angular. iOS only understand Objective-C or Swift. So Cordova is the is the guy let's say which will take your angular code and convert that to objective c so that can be run on ios or iphone or ipad devices and on the other side angular understand java or kotlin so cordova support java it will take your angular based code and it will convert that code into java so you can run the same application on android as well and it's it's it goes similar to windows platform as well so now it says okay dependencies install and it's asking me uh install the free ionic pro sdk and connect app so i um, don't have a paid ionic pro account so i will press n and press enter and there you go, our project has been created. So I'm gonna type LS and I can see I have another project called tabs. So to start the application, I wanna to have to go inside that folder. So I'll say CD tabs. And one thing I wanna mention here that everything is possible in Windows and Linux as well. It's just basically I'm using terminal because I am on a Mac and if you're using Windows, you use command prompt or PowerShell. So we are in the tabs folder. So I'm going to type ls-l, which gave me a list of the files and folders that I have in this folder. So I can see I have a source folder, I have a config.xml. We will go through all of these files uh, in the next video. But first, let's start our application. So I'm going to type a command called ionic serve press enter and now it's going to open a browser which will bring us a new app and we can actually take this to to this uh, virtual desktop so we could see that so now it looks like it's a web page but actually it's not a web page it's a mobile app so I'm gonna click on these three dots and I want to change this to developer tools and then we will change from here to let's say iPad Pro or we can use this for Ionic uh, iPhone 6, 7, 8. So now I'm going to close these. Oops, I'll have to go back guys. Sorry, my bad. And I want to put this uh, on the side. So now you can see our app is running. So we have a contact tab, about home tab and so far we have this application now 
as I've shown you that you have to go to developer mode and then you will uh, basically make your app look like a mobile app but there's another way that is possible so we're gonna go to terminal and I'm gonna press Control C to stop the server uh, which run our application which was localhost 8100 so first let me clear the console and I'm gonna type ionic serve dash L press enter now it's gonna start the server but dash L is basically is going to uh, start our application in a lab mode so I'll type yes it's gonna install ionic lab and then it will open up our server so right now it basically didn't open up properly because it hasn't installed okay so next page it's opening now 8200 now there we go so now when you type a lab which is basically a flag that make your app look like a mobile app so here i'm using ios and if i go right i can see the same app how it's gonna look like in Android. So you can change or you can check apps uh, side by side for iOS and Android. So this is how you can see how my app is going to look like in Android and how it's gonna look like on iOS. And uh, believe it or not, they have a support for Windows Mobile as well. So now this is a Windows Mobile, um, which basically it's really poor. It does not really uh, show anything nice here. So we'll just turn out because Windows Mobile are dying. There's no more Windows operating system for mobile anymore. So we just target iOS and Android platform. So now if you want to kill the server, go back to terminal and then you press con control C to start the search to stop the server. So there you go, guys. This is how you uh, set up your environment for building hybrid mobile apps using Ionic and Cordova. And also, this is how you create a project and start your project. And trust me, it's really easy to build a mobile application right now using Ionic. Uh, all you got to do is type some commands on the CLI and that will do a lot of things for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will start uh, looking at the folder structure of this project.